It was 11 something in the morning when I first got the text. My heart started pounding and my jaw started to flex. My eyes watered up thinking, nah man, this can't be true. How could something so horrific happen to a person who was always so cool? I hopped on Facebook and that's when everything got confirmed. I had to log off quick cause inside of me this feeling started to burn. Deep down in my heart like somebody was completely tearing it apart. Why would anybody want to take a light away from this world that's already so dark? I fell to my knees frantically and that's when I started to pray. With thoughts of SETI on my mind, I knew I had to find all the right words to say. So I said, dear Lord, can you hear me? Cause right now I'm feeling so much pain. And why is it that an innocent life could be taken away in absolute pain? I mean, how can one explain how my boy was here one day but then gone the next? And no, I refuse to accept that life's only guarantee has to be this infinite death. Without meaning or purpose like we only live so we can feel strife or struggle. Hands down, said he was one of the coolest dudes I ever met. Always remaining humble. He just wanted to enjoy his life and have a good time. He ain't never hurt nobody when he was here. He gave nothing but love and I could tell when we hugged. And now all I have are these tears. And everybody is telling me to be strong cause life goes on. I gotta try to keep my head up like Pac said to do in this world that's so wrong. But my boy is gone. Taken away in a blink of an eye. And precious said he, man, I'm missing you and oh how hard for you I cried. Asking God why? Why did it have to be him? He had two beautiful baby boys, Lord Father, what about them? And now they have to live the rest of their lives being deprived of such a great father figure and man. A positive role model and friend, somebody who was caring, sincere, just genuine. And dear Lord, please forgive me, I don't mean to question your plan, but just understand, man, that I'm hurt. My boy said he should be right next to me laughing and joking, not six feet underneath this earth. This world couldn't appreciate his worth And to these punk cowards that did this I hope you burn in the pits of hell Cause your judgment day will come And you better believe over evil good Would always prevail Dear Sadie I hope you can tell man That you really meant a lot to me And all of our good times together They couldn't have gotten much better dog. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree And I know I'm gonna see you someday again But till then Go ahead and walk through heaven's door And fly amongst the angels in absolute paradise A place that the pain can hurt no more Cause he who is absent in the body is present with the Lord So enjoy boy while you hold on to your memory Like when me, Rick and Ivan first got your toe up off that Red Bull and Hennessy May your soul rest in peace As we celebrate your life until we see your face again Love you always and forever, my dear Seti, my brother, and always my friend. Miss you, boy. Dear Seti, I know you up in heaven, man, smiling down on us. And I'm sorry that you had to go home so soon. But when God calls you, you gotta go. Hey, but man, but just know. That your babies down here, they gonna be okay. Hey man, did you see my first video? I know you saw it, man. It was dedicated to you, and I got your name tattered on my arm, man. Like Pac said, although memories fade, I got your name tattered on my arm, so we both on to my dying days. So everything that I get, you gonna be right there with me, bruh. Believe that. Just watch out for us down here, man. We gonna see you someday again. Up in heaven. I miss you, dude. I love you.